Hey guys, Perfect Game Bad today, bringing you another video. Today for our weapon conversion series, we are going to be converting the Bruin Mark 9 into the German HK123 or the MG4A3. So we'll go ahead, back out, show you guys the conversion, and show you some gameplay for the weapon to go and some real life information about the weapon. So backing out, here's our final design for the MG4A3 or the HK1, MG123 or 123. Let's look at the design here. So we'll go ahead and back out. Now I'll admit right off the bat, this design itself is a bit of a stretch uh, for sure, but I think it's pretty close, especially because the MG4 is, or it does retain a lot of features and inspiration from the FN Mini Me, which is the Bruin Mark 9 at base. So first off, barrel lot wise for the A3, there was the A3 was kind of put into testing with the HK MG5, which is the big brother to this. So for the barrel option, the closest option that I think looks acceptable is this 23 inch foresight barrel. This is gonna give you aim down sight speed, movement speed, aim down walking speed. And you can see the cons there. It's gonna hurt your recoil and velocity slightly, but not anything bad. The, the weapon itself doesn't have bad um, <clears throat> recoil or anything like that anyways. So the foresight barrel gives us more of an A3 look for the MG4. For the optic, so this is this is the cool one here. They pretty much have a very similar optic in game as the Germans were testing in real life. So the Intless LSJ3, this gives us 3% um, reduction in aim down sight speed as well as four times magnification, gives us the laser. So the laser will be visible when you aim down sight, but you do get aiming stability. So this is very similar to the, the new four by 30 um, optics that they are testing with the MG5s and the MG4s here with the A3s. So we'll go ahead and select that. For the buttstock option, there's no real good choice here. Um, the, the HK MG5 and MG4 buttstocks are very unique. They do have similar ones in the game for the MG5, but not available for the Bruin. So we're gonna go with the Lane 56 stock, gonna give us a little bit of recoil across the board, a little bit increase in AD on sight speed, but nothing bad. So we'll go ahead and select that. Now for the grip, we're gonna just, I'm throwing in an extra attachment here. You can swap this out if you want, but this will mainly help us out with the camo as well. So I'm gonna run the Stip 40 grip um, or the Stippled 40 grip. Gonna give us uh, recoil control and gun kick control with the cons being aim idle sway. So that'll give us 7% recoil across the board. And you'll see how that works out with the camo. Magazine, we're gonna stay with the 100 round belt with 5x6x45 NATO. Skip the ammo. Skip the muzzle, and for the underbarrel option here, again, you could go with, um, you could definitely go with the uh, Bruin bipod. I think that's a good choice. However, I'm gonna go with, I wish we had a grip bipod combo that we could do, but I like the XRK um, bow breaker grip here, this ergo grip. Gonna give us recoil, kick control, vertical, aim, idle, sway, and fire aim stability with the cons being horizontal, aim down sight speed, and sprint to fire speed. So um, not gonna hurt us. We're mitigating any cons with the vert with the horizontal recoil and the others with the other attachments. We'll go ahead and select that. Now for the camo. This is, this is crucial for the uh, MG4A3 because they, like the MG5, are using that RAL 8000 green-brown surface camo finish. We'll go ahead and run the clay camo uh, for this. You could also run kind of like a, you could run a sand, but I think the clay is the closest. If you guys remember the MG5 um, from Modern Warfare 2019, this is the base camo that it came in pretty much. So we'll go ahead and run the clay back out here. And this is our final design for the German MG4 light machine gun mg4a3 light machine gun being tested alongside the mg5 in real life so some differences here obviously we have um this really is a mini me at base or a saw but again they do sh share very similar features uh belt is fed in through the left hand side cartridges are ejected on the right and the um spent the spent um uh, belt casings there are spit out, I believe, down the, down from the bottom of the weapon. Um, I could be mistaken there. Other than that, it's very similar to the charger hand would be or it would be aesthetically different, and obviously some barrel differences here. Also, unfortunately, with this barrel, you don't have um, the bipod folded up when you have a grip on it. You could do that, 
with the base barrel, but again, that just looks like a saw. So this, this barrel here, the X-Fill barrel, kind of differentiates it. So I think this is a pretty close version to the MG4A3 specifically. So if we go ahead back out, we'll just jump into the fire range really quickly with this, and then we'll get into some gameplay. So again, you can see the inspect. I do like this barrel. It looks really cool. This is actually the first time I've really had a use for this barrel. But there's our inspect. Let's check how it handles. Again, the amount of fire you can put down range just because you have the 100 round belt is pretty good. Recoil, not bad at all. So you can see he's going to go up into the left a little bit. So that's the recoil on this weapon. Let's go ahead and we'll back out and jump into the gameplay for this weapon, the MG4A3. <clears throat> so with this weapon, um, Again, it is in service or being tested by the German military. It's supposed to replace the MG3 or at least be in service alongside it as well as the MG5 was. However, at least as far as the last I heard for the MG5, that has been <clears throat> that project has been kind of delayed. So the MG4, I believe, is also still in limbo. Um, now, a lot of you may remember this weapon. I It may have been in a previous Call of Duty game. I cannot remember, but I do remember it side by side with the saw in... Battlefield 4, which is kind of what made me think of, of trying this because it performed identically to the saw in that game, just with a different recoil pattern to the left versus the right of the saw, I believe is what it was, um, or vice versa. So again, I, I was looking at this, I was just trying to, I was doing a video for German KSK weapons and I kind of messed around with this and I thought this was pretty acceptable for a conversion. So the German MG4 was in design or development in the late 1990s, put in service in 2005 through present. It's seen service in a couple of different wars so far, uh, the Yemen Civil War, Saudi Arab blood war, um, Saudi Yemen border conflict, and some other, some other conflicts here and there and testing with the German military. Um, design is Heckler and Koch. The design period was the 1990s. You have production was 2001 through present. Specifications for the A3 is going to be 8.6 kilograms. The length overall for the weapon based on the buttstock and the uh, extended or folded because the buttstock in real life does fold to the side. So you can have anywhere from 40.6 inches to 32.7 inches with a barrel length for the MG4 of 17.7 .7 inches or 450 millimeters with a width of 3.5 inches or 90 millimeters and a height of 250 millimeters or 9.8 inches. The cartridge for the MG4 is the NATO standard 5x6x45 millimeter NATO, whereas the MG5 is a 7.62x51 NATO. And again, the MG5 was in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019. I don't remember what the name of it was in that game, but if you guys have been following the channel, we covered it extensively back in, in that game for sure. The action for the weapon is going to be a gas-operated rotating bolt, same as the M249 saw or the FN mini -Me. The rate of fire is going to be upward of 890 rounds per minute with a muzzle velocity of 920 meters per second or 3,018 feet per second with an effective firing range of approximately 1,000 meters and a feed system being that belt-fed 5x6x45 beta with the M27 uh, disintegrating links. And again, you have a pick rail on top for mounting optics and here with the a4 as i said they're testing instead of a three times optic they're testing a four by 30 intermediate range red dot optic so pretty cool build here i'm a big fan of it it actually is pretty fun to use i'm going to try some warzone builds for resurgence and things like that but uh this is a nice weapon and again they added that new barrel and i really didn't know what to do with that barrel but um here we go with a nice mg4 a3 so let me know your thoughts down below would be really cool if they allowed us to do a some sort of grip with a barrel option i know you can do it with the mg36 but you can't do it with any of the other light machine guns unfortunately so that would be cool to see in future call of duty games for sure let me know your thoughts down below also, memberships are live on the channel. We do have merchandise. All of that is linked below. New merchandise is coming soon. I'm working on some new designs here as well. Um, tested them out, ordered some test designs, make sure they work good, and then we'll go ahead and release those over on the uh, website. But those are all available. Links are down below for joining the memberships as well as the merchandise. 
you guys are enjoying the content be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already double check that sometimes youtube uh may unsubscribe you as well so till next time let me know your thoughts down below the german mg4a3 till next time buffering gaming out